Hi, I'm Zach McKay. I'm the Key Accounts Manager here at Motion Control Products. And I'm Tony Robinson, a Technical Sales Engineer. And today we're going to be speaking about the Harmonic Actuator Range. So Tony, can you tell me a little bit more about the Harmonic Actuator Range itself? Yeah, um, this is the Harmonic Actuator Range in front of us. Right. Okay. Um, it consists of a strain wave gearbox, okay. coupled with a 16-pole brushless motor, right? servo motor, yep. um, and uh, a feedback device of some description. Uh, in this case, it's either an incremental or absolute encoder, and a, um, and a brake if required in a single housing. Okay, so quite a compact looking unit then? Yeah, they're relatively compact for the power they can generate. Okay, and what sort of applications are these used for? Um, they originally found, well, they were originally designed for um, uh, robotic arms. Robotic so arms. So they're used that, quite yeah. a lot in that type of application. Um, but any form of uh, industrial automation could use them now. They're used in uh, medical and surgical tools. Right. They're used in animatronics. Mm. But virtually, you could, there are numerous, um, numerous applications. applications yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what sort of accuracy? Accuracy uh, standard is 30 arc seconds, right? Okay, with so repeatability high, right, of eight arc seconds. Okay, and I'm guessing high torques. Yeah, the torques are high. Yeah. Uh, for this size of package, yes, we're talking 800 newton meters peak, cool. uh, with 560 newton meters continuous rating. Well, we'll give you an idea. If you actually look at this unit itself, you can see that this is, we've got a max torque of 194 newton, meter, newton meters, and it's quite a compact unit itself, you know. So yeah, that just gives you a little bit of an idea mm. there. Um, what sort of speed do they run at? Speed, so they're not very fast. Nice. Um, they're 127 uh, RPM is the max. Right. Uh, and they're rated at 70 R RPM. So they're really only designed for um, fairly low speeds, but it's the torque that's the thing. That's the main yeah. thing. Quite smooth motion very too, Very smooth I guess. motion. Yeah. Uh, coupled with the, with the strain wave gearbox. Yeah. Um, and the gear ratio, which goes from 51 to 161 yeah. to one then you get very, very smooth output. Okay, motion. cool. And I can see that these three have got hollow bores. So what sort of sizes does that range from? Uh, the hollow bores vary depending on the size of the motors. Uh, the smallest uh, motor is the 14 yeah, size. size 14. And that's got a 9 millimeter um, hollow bore shaft. Okay. Um, and the largest is the 40, and that has a 40 mil. Okay, and what would be the advantages of these units themselves? The advantages, well, the primary advantage is the actual physical Just size, the size power. of it, yeah. small footprint. Yeah. Very, very, very power dense, if you like. Okay. Um, so you've got a very small motor, which produces a lot of power, okay, yeah. a lot of torque. Yeah. Um, they're very smooth, mm. it's very low vibration. Low um, vibration. Okay. As you can see, it's a self-contained unit. So everything's in one unit. Okay? Yeah. You've got a reduced component count. Um, you don't have a separate gearbox, no. motor, encoder, so on and so forth. Um, it's sealed. Okay. okay, it's maintenance free as I've said, but it's also IP rated. IP rated, okay. So it's got an IP rating of 65 as standard. Okay. And can, as an option, you can have IP67. Okay. So it can work in fairly harsh environments. Okay, and what is the voltage range for them, sir? The voltage range for this um, goes from 48 volt DC, 48 volt DC 110 okay. volt, 220 volt, and 480 volt AC. Okay, so high, high voltage then, too. It's reasonable, yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, what sort of drive would Motion recommend for these units? Uh, our standard offering would be AMC, AMC and it yeah. would probably be a Flex Pro okay. as standard, but the, the user can use anything they like. Yeah. Um, so as long as they can handle the feedback devi devices that are fitted, which tend to be uh, BIS -C, BIS C encoders yeah. or Nikon A encoders right. or a standard incremental, okay. if their drive can handle that and they have the voltage and the current to handle it, they can put what they like on there. Okay, and there's an integrated version too? Yeah, there's an integrated version. It's called the MGM. Right. Um, it looks uh, uh, very very similar to this, yeah. virtually the same. Right. Um, same physical size. Right. Um, and basically, that would have a power cable. Okay. And and a communications cable. Okay. What communication protocols does it have? The communication we offer two, and they okay. are EtherCAT and uh, CanOpen. CanOpen. Okay. All right. Well, that's lovely. Thank you for speaking to us today. And if you'd like to find out more about the Harmonic Actuator range, then please contact us as per below.